Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Study with Soumya. First of all, if you are new to this channel, then make sure to subscribe this channel. This channel is going to be very helpful for you. Also, if you are liking our content, make sure to share the channel among your friends as well so that even they can know about this channel. Okay, also don't forget to be a part of our Telegram channel as well. The link for the Telegram channel is given in the description itself. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss that how can you determine the degree of a vortex of a graph, right? So the degree related questions are asked in many companies like is Capgemini and so. So that's why it is very important for you to understand that how basically you can determine the degree of a vortex. So first of all, let's draw a graph. Okay, so A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so a graph consists of what? Vortices and edges. You can call vortices as nodes as well. So here you can see A, B, C, D, E. They all are what? Vortices. They all are what? Nodes. And these lines, as you can see right now, so edges are what? Edges are used to connect our nodes or vortices. Okay, now if you have to determine the degree of node A, then how you will be determining? So basically the degree of a vertex, the degree of a node is what? The edge associated with it. For example, for A, how many edges are associated with it? As you can see, this is the one edge and this is another edge. Right, so two edges are associated. So that's why degree of A is going to be what? Two. Now, if I'm asking you about the degree of D, so what it is going to be, you can see how many edges are associated. 1, 2, 3. So, degree of D is going to be 3. Okay, so now you must have understood that how basically to determine the degree of a node. Well, this is what? An undirected graph. Right. So there are two types of graphs, directed and undirected graph. As of now, we are talking about undirected graph. So here you can see there is no direction that in which direction you can move. For example, if I am having A to B. So here this arrow is showing what? This is showing direction that okay, you can go from A to B, but not from B to A because there is no direction or no path mentioned from B to A. But if I'm drawing like this, if I'm having like this A to B, so this is what undirected graph. It means you can move from A to B and you can move from B to A as well, right? So this is what the thing is. Well, let's suppose if I am having a loop like this, this is what? This is a loop. Okay, so if, if I'm having a loop on this node A, now what is going to be the degree of this node A? Now you have to tell me this. Well, let's see. Always remember. So, you, in case of loop, what you can see, this this edge is coming out of A, right? And then here it is moving back to the A itself. It is coming out of A and moving another edge like this edge is moving to back to the A itself. So always remember a loop contributes two edges. Okay, a loop contributes two edges in a undirected graph. So now if I'll be asking you about the degree of A, so it is going to be 2 plus 2 that is 4. Because now here I'm having a loop. Okay, to make it more clear, let me draw a loop on E. Now if I'll be asking you about the degree of E, so how many nodes are associated with E? 1, 2. And now I'm having this loop as well on E, which is contributing equal to two edges. So what is going to be the degree of E? That is going to be four, right? So I hope this much part is clear to you. Now let's talk about the directed graph. So let me draw this A, C, B, D, E. Okay. Okay, so in case of undirected graph, we were having this sort of thing that you must be clear about. Now, this is what? This is directed graph. So, in directed graph, we have two degrees to deal with. In degree, in degree and out degree. Right, so we have two types of degree, in degree and out degree. Now, what is in degree? So, for example, let's talk about this node A. So, here you can see one arrow is moving outwards. And here also see how many edges are associated with it, this edge and this edge. And here you can see this arrow is moving outwards and this arrow is also moving outwards. 
so it is contributing to out degree because arrow is moving outwards so this is contributing to out degree now let's talk about c so in case of c how many edges are associated this and this right two edges are associated you can see one arrow is coming towards c and this arrow is also coming towards c so here what we are having these two edges are contributing to these two edges are contributing to in degree okay because here both the arrows are coming towards c now if i am asking you the in degree of a in degree of a so you can see here we are having two edges associated with a and both the edges are moving outwards okay so that's why in degree is zero of a out degree so out degree is going to be two let's talk about uh, let's talk about let me do one thing okay like this so let's talk about e so what is the in degree of e so you can see how many edges are associated with the one and two so two edges are associated and you can see one arrow is coming towards e so that is contributing to in degree so in degree of e is going to be what one and you can see for this edge the arrow is moving outwards so that is contributing to out degree that is contributing to out degree of e so out degree is going to be what one now let's take the case of loop here so for example if i am having a loop here on e right now what would what would be the in degree and out degree of e so let's understand you can see this here this loop is doing what this is moving outwards this is moving outwards and then coming back to the e itself first it is moving outwards then coming towards or inwards to the e itself so a loop will contribute 1 point to in degree it will contribute to one edge towards in degree and plus one edge to out degree okay so you have to do nothing just add plus 1 to in degree that is going to be 2 and plus 1 to out degree so that is going to be 2 so now the in degree of e is 2 and out degree is also 2 let's take uh, let me take another example so for example i am having a loop here in b so what is the in degree of b okay so how many edges are associated with b 1 2 3 edges are associated okay and here you can see this one two two arrows are moving towards v so that is contributing to in degree now we are having one loop as well so this loop it will also contribute one point toward in degree so what is going to be the in degree that is going to be 3 in case of b let's talk about the out degree of b out degree of b so that is going to be what so here you can see this edge is moving outwards of b so that is contributing to out degree and also we are having one loop so that will also contribute to out degree so we'll be having 1 plus 1 that is 2 so out degree of b is what 2 and the in degree is 3 okay so this is how you can determine the degree of a vertex in a graph so i hope now the concept regarding degree of a vertex in graph should be clear and if it is clear make sure to like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and be a part of our telegram channel as well thank you for watching this video keep learning keep preparing bye bye take care